The deconversion of Gokster. Hello, my friend. In 1964, a little town known as the biggest railway city in the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, namely Battenberg. There was no comet, nor a sun or a moon eclipse on the 5th of July to announce my birth. Anyway, in the dark sooty barracks of the railway workers colony, nobody was really waiting for a new messiah. So there I was, the first son, the first cousin, the first newborn from this generation of my clan. Born into the lowest working class and representing at least the fourth generation of atheists. In this case atheist is the wrong word because nobody of my elders would know what it means to be atheist nor most of them could even spell the word. The until today remaining state religion is Catholicism and every priest is at least happy when the workers from the colony were showing up for the baptism. In the same way, my clan didn't know what atheism is, so they also ignored everything what is involved to be a Catholic. Do like others, do and you will be treated like others. This is and ever was the cultural Catholicism of my country. Yes, I was baptized and so was also my 18 month younger brother. Due to the very high pollution in our town and because we did not have a bathroom, we passed very much time with our grandparents at the countryside. Not that they had a bathroom, but at least a big tub in the barn where we shared children first the same water with the whole family. Traditionally, my mother was not allowed by the family to have a work or an income, so the little farm of my father's parents and the huge garden of my mother's parents contributed to our survival. Nobody of us children were aware of our poverty because we had food and I hold this in my memory as a very happy time. It happened maybe two or three times a year that one of the or the other of my grandmothers went to church because in a cultural Catholic country it is usual custom to bury our dad with the help of a priest. Sometimes I was allowed, or maybe by lack of a babysitter, to accompany her to church. What a beautiful building! Yes, our churches are beautiful. A building from 1840 with art windows, carved altar and many impressive figurines all around. In the village of my other grandmother, an even older and more beautiful church. We did not have a lot of distraction and I'm still speaking about my preschool time. Also toys were more than rare, but we had our dogs, kitten, chicken, two pigs, a cow and some rabbits to take care of and we contributed with pleasure to our daily duties. This to tell you how impressed I was to hear the church choir singing, to see the priest dressed in gold, to smell the essences. It changed from the barn smelling. The inconvenient was only that we had to go to church during the week, we had to take a second bath in the barn's tub for the same week, dirty or not. During the yearly church fair, 
my uncle as a member of the local volunteer fire brigade was in his ceremonial uniform plenty of medals which had have in common with hemorrhoids that every asshole can have them to carry the canopy over the monstrance carrying priest. This was his only yearly contribution to the religious national culture. So past six beautiful years with a happy child and absolute not harming cultural membership to the Catholic Church. Will this remain so? To know more, please stay tuned for the next chapter of my deconversion story. Goodbye for today.